often depend on being able to take our children outside to burn that extra energy. Well, the seasons are changing, but that energy level is not. It's like on 5,000. It blows my mind the type of energy that Garrison has. It's like never ending, never ending. Today's project is Activity Dice. This is ideal for children who are super active, seem to have endless energy, and can go on forever. Starting with your classic 20 by 30 foam board. You want it to be foam so it's a little bit more durable. We are going to cut this into 10 by 10. There's gonna be six of them because we're making die. You'll need two of these for this project. Let's get them measured out. Let's mark out the center line. I really love using these clear rulers. I'm able to see exactly how to line this up to assure that I'm cutting out perfect 10 by 10s. With all of our 10 by 10s marked out and ready to be cut, I'm gonna get ready to give you a super easy tip on how to cut through this thick foam board. So you're gonna take your utility knife, Simply stick it into the foam board and you're going to cut just enough to give it a nice score in. Once you have your first score in, so easy, right? With the fold we just created, we're going to take the same utility knife and cut right into that crease on the opposite side. Voila, our cardboard is cut in half. We're ready to get the rest of these 10 by 10s cut out. Same concept, guys. Follow your line, creating a score, fold, and then cut on the opposite side to make a super clean cut. So we have two stacks of our 10 by 10s. We have six in each stack. That means we have enough for two of our blocks. The first one is going to be our activities, and the second one is going to be the number of times they have to do the activity. So let's take a cue from a traditional die and color in our dots. All of my 10 by 10s are numbered. Let's get this baby assembled. Pick your favorite duct tape. Place it on all of your sections where your 10 by 10s meet up. The cool thing about using duct tape is that it's flexible and can easily fold. Repeat that on all of the corners. Once you get these first four connected, we're gonna simply push this forward, bring in our final piece, and simply tape it right into place. Now let's finish taping. Super easy, right? These are activity dies, so of course we have to put our actions on the die. I'm going to be using these pre-made felt letters that already have the stickers on the back, so it's all in one. Let's get these actions on there. We are all done with our activity dies. Now, let's go put these to use. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.